You know, for the last few hours, I've struggled with the idea of whether or not I wanted to make this video because Griffin can't leave well enough alone. Dude, you good, man? Like, it's not worth crying over, man. You sound like you're about to cry. I mean, this is some fake internet beef. It's not worth getting upset over. I mean, I hope it's fake. I mean, I'm not taking it seriously, but you, on the other hand, maybe you are. I don't know. It's not worth getting upset over, man. I mean, I'm not the one who made two response videos both over 30 minutes long in the span of a week. Plus, that's not even to mention the hundreds of clips from your streams I've been sent on Twitter where you literally cannot keep my name out of your mouth. But then again, this was all part of your master plan as a big brain troll. You trolled us so hard that you even deleted both your original video and the original 37 minute response video. But when Wait, why would you delete the videos if you were just trolling? I thought you were so excited for those engagement numbers in the form of negative comments and dislikes. What the hell happened, man? Wait, could it actually be that all that negativity is starting to get to you? And now that people are directing that same energy you had for them in your original video back at you, you aren't personally a fan of it? No, it couldn't be that, could it? But today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at the second response video to me by our dear friend Hippozoned, who probably just so happens to be my biggest fan, it seems like, recently, considering how much time he spends talking about me. But then again, the attention I direct of this channel in the past few weeks is more than he's probably gotten in the past six months combined. I wasn't even going to respond to this ass clown, but after he uploaded this video and deleted the two previous ones, I felt like this would be a great opportunity to give us a good old laugh and to go through his various personal attacks against me and my amazing subscribers, aka you, because he cannot resist any opportunity to dig himself deeper into the hole at this point. Plus, I got a ton of requests to make this video, so I got to give people what they want. After all, my channel is nothing without anyone watching it, and if he wants to make it personal, I am happy to to oblige. I mean, this should be pretty damn easy considering we are talking about someone who posts this in his Discord. You can be this hot if you drink the nectar of the hogs. It's me celebrating a successful troll campaign. It must be all the anal sex I have. Why are you here, man? I think I found my niche on YouTube. I would, yes, but I don't know if I should. Clearly going full retard gets me the dislikes and views. Well, I mean, now we have some context surrounding that clip from his stream where his friend clearly says that his butthole is sore. Movie. Oh, oh, my three holes more. My three holes more. Because it was awesome. Yeah, I think that just about confirms it. But honestly, I don't even think it's worth talking about the Epic Store anymore, considering it's just beating a dead horse at this point. I mean, it's obvious that most people are not in favor of it at this point, and nothing I say is going to change anyone's mind. However, if you would like to watch the complete and total destruction of all of Hippozone's sad attempts to defend the Epic Game Store, even now, I would definitely recommend this video by Old Mate John. He did a fantastic job shitting on any argument Hippozone had, and I honestly can't recommend this video enough. I'll have it linked in the description and pinned in a comment. So go make sure to check that out and go show him some support. He did a fantastic job with the video. But what we're going to be doing here is we're going to laugh at his desperate attempt to deflect criticism our pal hypocrite here has been receiving as a result of his anti-consumer corporate shilling for the Epic Game Store. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, and check out the video. You know, for the last few hours, I've struggled with the idea of whether or not I wanted to make this video because Griffin can't leave well enough alone. And, you know, I struggled with the idea because I know no matter what I have to say here or what I do say here, his fucking crybaby ass fans aren't going to care. Wow, guys, we got roasted. This name calling is on a completely different level. I also know that making this video will no doubt add fuel to the fire, so to speak. So it's probably a bad idea. However, with that said, against my better judgment, I'm going to make this video. You go, girl. Perhaps afterwards, Griffin and his crybaby ass, unintelligent, immature little fans will leave me the hell alone. Yeah, let's see how that goes for you, considering you can't resist name dropping me at every opportunity and calling my subscribers entitled spoiled crybabies. Yeah, I mean, it's going to work out great for you, man. I mean, if you even just search Hippozoned on YouTube, the first results are Hippozoned versus Griffin Gaming. I mean, good luck with that. You know, I absolutely find it funny that I have maybe 1% of the subscribers that Griffin has. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Don't be so down on yourself. It's closer to 2.4%. Give yourself a little credit where credit's due. Come on, man. I'm rooting for you. Yet he finds it absolutely appropriate and I guess warranted to continually to try to bash my character and belittle and pick fun at me, which is fine. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, my video was not in any way attacking your character, but rather picking apart your arguments in favor of the Epic Game Store and the various insults that you threw at people who happen to disagree with you. Always a great argument tactic, I might add. You're the one who made it personal to begin with. We are just returning the favor at this point. But I just find it funny that someone would do this when 
on the spectrum of things, I'm not even close to matching his success. And I put that in quotes. This kind of shows you that he's a very immature and childish person. The fact that he feels the need to try to belittle and make fun of another person to feel better about himself. I mean, congrats, man. You just managed to use two arguments I can't fucking stand. Did you actually just try to pull the, oh, he's only making fun of me because he's immature line? Come on, man. That's the line straight out of the bitch's handbook for people who can't handle the shit they dish out. Also, subscribers are nothing more than a number. I had 1,600 subs at one point, just like everybody else on this damn website did. A lower sub count is not a shield against criticism. And because he can't let it go, this tells me it didn't matter what I said or he doesn't care about what I said like he claims. I can't let it go, my man. You spend eight hours a day live streaming bitching about me whenever someone mentions me in the chat, and you've made two 30 plus minute videos on me at this point. I think you were the one who can't let it go in this entire situation. He just saw it as an easy opportunity to make fun of somebody to make easy money. Well, after all, I am just a broke college kid who has to put food on my table somehow. I mean, that whopping $100 I made from the video is definitely all I care about at the end of the day. So I guess thank you for letting me bully you for my monetary gain. I really appreciate it. Which, in my opinion, is doing nothing beneficial for the gaming industry or YouTube at all. So this is what I meant when I said he was wrong with the gaming industry and YouTube. YouTube because... He finds nothing else better to do, or he finds no other way to create content to be absolutely negative about shit. Or gaming, because every time he can, he finds an issue to bash on when it comes to gaming. Well, that's because I talk about things that I find interesting. I'm not a news channel. I'm not a review channel. I'm not a super happy positivity YouTube kids channel either. I am Griffin Gaming. I talk about whatever I want that has to do with gaming. Or maybe I just put gameplay in the background and talk about something completely random. It's my channel, my choice. And if I find a topic that's interesting, and just so happens to be negative, and it just so happens a lot of people are interested in that same topic as well, I may make a video on it. I mean, that's the whole point of YouTube is to make videos that people are going to want to watch. Like making a video about Apex Legends, but he can't help but to reference how good Titanfall is, and yet he doesn't make a video talking about this. Okay, what the fuck? So I made a video on Apex Legends and I mentioned what a great game Titanfall is because, you know, it's made by the same developer, believe it or not. But at the same time, you say I didn't make a video on it. What the fuck are you even saying? I only see negative shit and not one Titanfall video, may I add. The video was literally me talking about how much I actually enjoyed Apex Legends, despite it not being the Titanfall 3 game I was hoping for, and the fact that it's a battle royale, which I generally don't enjoy. What the actual fuck are you talking about? Now, I don't care what he has to say. His opinion is his own, and he has a right to it, and that's fine. But the fact that he keeps trying to make fun of me is absolutely hilarious. I guess he's never heard the expression, don't kick a man while he's down, because you'll probably get your leg broken. Yeah, I've never heard of that, and it literally makes no sense. Plus, who's down in this situation? I thought you destroyed me with your 200 IQ. I thought you defeated the negativity whore known as Griffin Gaming. Or maybe I just say that. Who knows? The point is, is he can't leave well enough alone. So I'm going to do this video and hopefully address all the fucking crybaby complaints and concerns that people have had over all of my videos. I won't be taking this video down like I did the last one. The last two. You took down two videos. I guess that 2% like to dislike ratio on both of them was too much for you to handle. Because despite what you people believe, I love gaming. It's something that got me through tough times and it really was there for me when I was really going through some shit in my life. Because as I've already told you guys I haven't had the greatest or easiest of lives so having you fanboys or you fucking crybabies come out and openly attack something or get overly mad and over exaggerate a situation because it's not what you want or not what you deem good business because the company like epic is not competing in the way that you want them to absolutely pisses me off so, in my original video, I may have spoken with emotion more than logic in some sense, and what I mean by that is I'm not saying that I was wrong about anything that I said because I wasn't, and I'll reiterate those points in a more logical manner in this video, but I let my emotions get the best of me, and I didn't necessarily put my complaints or my concerns in a constructive way, which I will be doing in this video. I must say, man, you've done a great job of that already with the name-calling and sad attempt to portray me as just a bully who's insecure. However, before we move on to that, I do want to point out that he's and a couple of his subscribers are saying that my friend doxed me in his grandmother's basement and he's like, oh, you can't make this shit up from what I hear. However, it was all a skit, you dumbass, but I wouldn't expect you or any of your dumbass subscribers to realize that. 
I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Let me know in the comments if you think this was a skit or not. Here we go. The phone number is 267 643. Call it live. You detox me live. And they're going to share it. They're going to give it to fucking Griffin. He can call you up. Come in. Ah, uh, now I'm about to be harassed. Even more than I already am, because dickhead likes to share private information. Wait, where's my phone? Let, let, oh, wait, it's in my hand. Let's share your fucking phone number, sure? I can't, I can't do it without stopping the video. Give me your fucking phone number! No. Oh, you're just going to openly... Yeah, you're in my basement. My grandma's right there, and you're cursing your fucking fat fucking asshole. Okay? You got retribution. Shut the fuck up. Happy birthday. I'm cursing my fat fucking asshole. Yeah, in front of my fucking grandma. She's right down the phone. I even muted his friend reading out his phone number on his live stream because even I wouldn't dox someone. I mean, Hippo, let's face the facts. It seems like I'm the best friend you got at the end of the day. At least I wouldn't dox you. But sure, you can believe whatever you want. If you really think that was a legit thing, you really need to have your IQ reevaluated. Something that you claim that I should do. No, we just think it's incredibly low. Because you can't seem to distinguish between acting and real life. Maybe it was really good acting. Maybe I'm just that good and I should have went into Hollywood. And the Oscar goes to... A very low IQ person. Who knows? But because you can't distinguish between the two, I would really reevaluate how smart you actually think you are. But let's move on to the video or the topic at hand to give you guys some closure. Now, I never said you couldn't be mad. Even my title listed where I was coming from in my video when it was titled, Epic doesn't deserve all the hate they're getting. I'm not saying that you can't hate on them. And maybe I should have been a little bit more clear. You know what they say, hindsight is 2020. But I basically mean, while you can be upset, no one gives a shit if you're upset or not, I don't think that it should have been taken to the levels that it has been. And that was my whole point of that video, which apparently it went over the head of Griffin and everyone else. And again, that's probably my fault because I let my emotions get the best of me and I didn't really put the video in a constructive way. So let's do it in this video. <laughs> astonishing and i also find it funny that griffin just recently became a pc user or a pc gamer i've been gaming on pc since 2012 so if anyone has a right to speak about what's going on pc and what's happening and what's good or bad for the pc community i would say i have more of a right than he does and i find it funny that most of his followers are also console users so for them openly speaking about something that they don't fully understand the grasp of the situation it's astonishing well guys, I guess we just aren't qualified to speak about this anymore since HippoZoned has been gaming on PC since 2012. Oh wait, would you look at that? According to my Steam profile, I've been gaming on PC since 2012 as well. Well that makes you look pretty retarded now, doesn't it, Hippo? It's astonishing. <laughs> However, if really downloading another launcher is your only issue right now that you have in the world, then you really need to reevaluate your moral code or your idea of what is right and wrong. Because there's people out here that are starving to death in other countries. There's people out here that have no home because they got bombed by the Syrian government or even the US government. There's people out here that have died from chemical attacks. Is this guy legitimately trying to virtue signal by saying at least we are getting bombed by the Syrian government. Like, what the actual fuck? Like, I can't fucking even think what made you think of that entire situation. I can't, man. Like, I literally fucking can't. I'd rather take a bath with a fucking toaster than listen to this shit. But you not wanting to download another launcher is wrong, and it's absolutely unacceptable, and this is where you draw the line, and so on and so forth. It's, it's absolutely silly that you feel slightly inconvenienced and you want to go and whine and cry like a little baby while there are people out there who actually are suffering with real problems but you want to bitch and moan over your first world problems your spoiled entitled problems awesome 
I mean, I bet you thought that you were really smart for drawing that comparison. Like you recorded that part and thought to yourself, you know what, this is really just gonna put it all into perspective for these crybabies now. I mean, dude, literally no one is making the slightest hint that getting gassed or bombed is even comparable to having to download the Epic Game Store launcher. I can't even fucking believe I had to fucking say that. Guys, just so you know, getting gassed or bombed is worse than having to download the Epic Game Store launcher. Just so you know, okay? Just want to clear that up in case there's any confusion. Then I've heard people say that they'll pirate the game, and then Griffin tried to say, oh, this is a meme, bro. No, it's not. Again, I didn't want to have to say it because it's really fucking cliche. It's just a meme, bro. Chill out. Because there's plenty of people that if they can, they will because of the way the situation blew up. So regardless of how you try to brush off this argument, this is a valid concern for people like me and the developers who believe that all of their hard work and all of their efforts put into this and doing their job Monday through Friday to provide for their family deserves to be rewarded. And yeah, while you might not directly be pulling foods from the developer children's mouths, you might as well be. I mean, I'm just disappointed to say the very fucking least. You're causing some poor Russian child out there to starve to death. How can you people live with yourselves? <laughs> And then Griffin took it upon himself to try to clown me because of what? He says he was doing it to, I guess, because it was too easy or whatever? I guess because it was too easy or whatever? I mean, what the fuck did you even just say there? I mean, I can't even tell. I absolutely, again, don't understand why somebody with so many followers, so many subscribers, cares so much about what I have to say that he's going above and beyond and out of his way to try to belittle me and discredit my character. You have done that yourself. When in fact he knows I'm right and part of that is telling me the way he's going overboard with it that I am right and he knows that I'm right and he overreacts. He knows that I'm right when I say he can't create quality content so he tries to make fun and pick at people. He tries to shit on things whenever possible because coming up with positive things, coming up with good ideas is harder than being negative. Especially when everybody wants you to be negative. So I make content people want to watch. I mean, where's the crime in that? But at least I am not someone who literally said that Dark Souls sucks because the game was difficult. Yes, this big-brained individual tried to shit on Dark Souls for being difficult. Just let you know, I fucking regret getting this game. Like, right from the bat, I'm gonna let you know that I fucking hate this game. This game is, is hard for the sake of being hard. And what I mean by that is there's no fucking rhyme or reason for the enemies this early in the game to be so fucking difficult. Like, as soon as they start hitting you, you're fucked. You're fucked. I've been grinding the first part of the game for the last three fucking hours just to get some decent gear. I finally get somewhere and then they throw something else at me. Like, this fucking game is just hard for the sake of being hard. There's no fucking reason for, the, for any game ever to be this hard. Everybody's like, but, but Dark Souls 2 was this hard. And if you fucking enjoy this, you're a fucking asshole. Who fucking wants to struggle for like a couple hours? And then everybody like, well, maybe you're just not that good. No, it's not about being good or bad. It's about making one wrong mistake and you're fucked. What kind of game is that? You can't make one mistake? How is that a game? That's not a fucking game. It doesn't matter what you say and whether or not it's right or wrong. Whatever wants you to be negative, they're going to eat it up. So what exactly is your point here? Again, I really don't care about the whole situation. Then stop making videos about it, you hypocrite. But I hope this video gave some of you clarity, and I hope you people stay the hell off of my channel. Now, I know you probably won't, and I really don't care. I will just continue to block you. Well, you know what little bitches say all over the internet. If you can't beat them, block them. Because I really don't want you ruining anyone's experience, especially those who may agree with me, and to harass someone or try to attack someone because you have a difference of opinion is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I don't care what you say about me. Well, obviously you do, or you wouldn't have deleted your previous two videos, and you sure as hell wouldn't have made this one, and also you wouldn't be blocking people on YouTube and Twitter either now, would you? But you will not come onto my channel and harass my subscribers because they are willing to see things objectively and reasonably. Did you hear that, guys? If you happen to agree with him, you can see things objectively and reasonably. It's funny how that works. Or even if they disagree with me, they won't personally attack me. They'll simply share their disagreement and let it go. I, at this point, I'm over it. But I, I wanted to get this out there because people, for some reason, think that it's appropriate to hate, attack, and try to tell me to kill myself and that I'm a cuck, I'm a virgin, I'm this, I'm that. I mean, at this point, I've been called everything and I really don't care. So if it doesn't bother you, why did you even mention it then? 
but for some reason, these people think that this is appropriate behavior. However, these are the same people that if you were to call them out in school or even in the same way online, they will cry to high heavens about how you're this and you're that and they're being picked on, etc, etc, etc. Well, it sounds like you're speaking from experience because this is exactly what you've done this entire time. Talk shit and then play the victim when you're proven wrong. I think it says a lot. When a 14-year-old can take criticism better than you can in what, your late 20s, early 30s? Oh, and shout out to Mushroom Head. He's actually a really cool guy and he's doing a really good job on his YouTube channel now. Link in the description. Go check him out. But it just goes to show you that age does not equal maturity whatsoever. Fucking brat. Now again, I don't care what people say about me. I don't care what people tell me to do. I'm damn sure not going to quit or kill myself. But it's the principle of the matter here that Griffin and his viewers think that it's perfectly acceptable behavior to try to bully, harass, or talk shit to someone who doesn't agree with their opinion. My man, you literally just described your original videos on this entire situation, so I'm just returning the favor at this point, friend. Because the internet gives you the ability to be anonymous. And Griffin is definitely this type of person. You can tell from his character the way he's personally trying to belittle me to feel better about himself. It shows from his lack of confidence, his self-esteem issues, and that's fine. I'm not here to judge him. I'm just saying, from my point of view, it seems that he needs to make me feel inferior to feel better about himself. Oh my god, guys. He saw right through me. I'm just so insecure about myself, and that's why I like to be anonymous online. I just sit in my room all day because I'm so insecure. Forget the fact that I'm a junior in college and I have a life outside of my hobby of making YouTube videos that maybe I just don't want to overlap. I mean, I'm just an insecure little man-child who needs to make fun of low IQ individuals to feel good about myself, and that is just the reality. This man must be a psychic because he saw me for what I truly am, a bully. However, I don't feel inferior. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what some anonymous dude on the internet thinks of me. Dude, you are literally a walking contradiction. You wouldn't be making this video if you honestly didn't care, and your other videos would still be public if that was actually the case. And it's not going to stop me from doing this. So no matter what any of you say, I really could care less. But I'm making this video because I feel like I had to share my opinion. I had to get that off my chest because no one seems to be listening to reason. And no one still will listen to reason. But those people that came here with an open mind or an objective point of view might listen to this video and see how wrong you truly are. And how wrong your viewers are for trying to personally attack me simply because we have a difference of opinion. Although Griffin will argue they only attacked me because I called them whiny spoiled crybabies. And well, I did. But that's because that's the way you all are behaving. Calling me names and attacking me. Calling me names and attacking me. Rules for thee, but not for me. Like I said before, I'm just returning the favor at this point. Because I called you a name first, is what you claim. Haven't you ever heard sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me? Oh my god, no, I've never heard that before. Did you come up with it yourself? If you're really someone that lets words get to you this much... You don't seem to be a very sure individual, to me anyways. Be careful the next time you look in the mirror, you may not like what you see. But again, my opinion. And you know what they say about opinions? Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. While it is true that everyone does in fact have one, you just so happen to be one. In fact, I figured out why your name is Hippozoned after hearing all the shit that you spew. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget that if you're a Griffin fanboy to hit that dislike button. Oh shit, I love that guy. Consider it done. Remember everybody, he asked us to do it, so it's not targeted harassment. If you heard reason and you listened to logic, hit that like button. And if you definitely agree with me here, then why not subscribe? I definitely would appreciate it, but you don't have to. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video and all of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Hippo out. And just like that, the video is over. So what we had there was the rantings of someone who has been completely defeated and that the vast majority of people disagree with. And instead of just admitting that maybe his video was garbage and he had a bad take, he doubles down over and over again on stupid. And I don't know, man, at least it's funny at the end of the day. I mean, I've been fairly entertained by all this. And unless he does something really stupid again, I don't really see any reason to respond in the future, to be honest. I think it's well established who won in this entire situation, considering both my Epic Game Store videos are still up and in 
ahead and get dislike bomb to like 2% so yeah there's that but you can be the judge of that at the end of the day but that does it for this video guys like I said last time I got a new mic so hopefully you're noticing a decent difference in the audio quality because I do want to make these videos as good as they can possibly be with my limited video skill set I guess you could say but with that said guys I want to thank you all so much for watching as always and for all the recent support and I will catch you guys next time